Alrighty, so welcome back to the darkest dungeon. It's been a couple days since we last played. Obviously yesterday was like a coaching day and then last Saturday was like the uh, the arcade night and like we've been distracted. We've been doing other things, but today we go back to the pit, apparently. Um, one thing that I did pretty recently in the game was establish the bank. Now, it's been obviously a fair amount of hours already, but rushing out the bank, I'm really starting to like the idea. So, I had to basically spend all of my thingamajigs right here at the bottom of the screen, but now I get 5% interest per week on all of my gold, which is really, really sick. You got a lot of resources for it. Because of that, I think we probably just want to do relatively short runs and just spend as little money as possible. Sell as many items as we can as well, actually, while we're at it. Uh, and just go from there. Because I think that's probably a good idea. Anything here that I should sell? Yeah, let's just, let's just sell, like, most of the white ones, I guess. Well, I don't want to sell them all, but... Uh, I don't even have an Arbalist. Some of these are pretty good, though. Some of them I do like to have. Um... Nah. Nah, that one's actually pretty good. It's just that, like, every time I don't sell something, I'm not using it, it kind of feels like waste. We don't necessarily need that many items. 15% healing skill, plus 15%, or 15 dodge if torch is above 75. This is not that great, man. Just get rid of it. Um, some of them are obviously pretty good. I'm not going to sell any of the, of the very rare ones. How much do they sell for? They don't even sell for that much. It's not like they sell for like 20 grand or whatever. That might make a difference, but... Is 57,000 gold in this game? Well, right now we're at 59. Is that a lot? I don't know. I have no idea. But my ultimate goal, right? Ideally, what we would be able to do, what I would like to do, is get like heroes in here and then treat them for this kind of stuff and not even have to think about spending that amount of gold. I do think that this is a lot for like this point in the game. But if you get, like, I can at a maximum, I think, right now, if I were to fill every single, every single slot, say this is, like, 5,000, maybe, like, 6, 7,000, 7,000 plus, like, I can spend maybe, like, 12,500 a week on, like, Sanitarium and Abbey and Tavern and stuff. I could technically be spending that much every single week. And then, obviously, also upgrade their skills. But once you reach, like, I don't know what the, what the point of no return is, but I think if you reach, like... Probably like 120, 150-ish thousand gold in this game. It probably becomes meaningless almost. Which seems like a really, really good thing. Because then you can just like... Tweet or treat all of their quirks and stuff. Now obviously, treating them does become more expensive the higher level they are. But I think we probably want to... We want to just hoard money at this point in the game, man. Just keep hoarding it. It's probably not a bad idea. I'm sure the final mission is very tough, yeah. Time to watch Loco fail even more and not feel bad. Whoa, what do you mean? Hey, have a good one, Cran. Thanks again, dude. Good night. Yeah, if you get 200,000 gold, you get 10k every single week, which seems like a lot. I upgraded this one as well, actually, to experience recruits, but sadly, I uh, haven't gotten any experience recruits yet. Either way, let's get started like we always do by like treating these people so first off the ghost okay ghost i need you to get maximum stress relief though so we will give her the pleasures of the flesh here's an extra coin i wasn't here i don't know what that means why does she what do you want sir we'll only meditate okay we can meditate what does she do with the extra coin in a brothel what's that supposed to mean Mm. Do I want to treat him too? Eh, why not? Make a double. Keep him coming. There we go. Um, I would like to probably do a couple more runs with the Antiquarian. Let's see if we can reach 100,000 gold. If we can reach 100,000 gold today, that would be amazing. I don't know if we're going to get there though, but that be that would be ideal. Uh, now the Antiquarian is really nice because she gives me additional rewards. It's just that she's level 3 right now, which means that she doesn't want to do easy level dungeons anymore. Is there like a short level 3 dungeon? 
Is that a thing? Yeah. So this one right over here. A medium veteran level dungeon. I don't know if that's super hard. But we may as well start playing with some of these people. Go from there. Um, yeah, we need to get them up to a higher level anyway, right? We need to get them upgraded either way. Yeah, there's a couple of short ones. There's also one in the cove, one in the... Um, what's this? The warrants, then one in the welt. What did he say? Did he say something he doesn't want to go? Why did we not want to go? Uh, she can start over there. She has that stabby step, but more importantly, she has the 7% uh, dodge, which is awesome. And then he also can do a lot of healing from this position. Should be totally fine. Um, I have... Wait, do I have a buff on any... Oh, wait, wait, wait hold up. It is, a, it is a weekly event right now. What was that event again? 33% resolve XP in the warrants on the next quest, plus 15% damage in the warrants as well. Okay, so we're gonna definitely go to the warrants then. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. He has a phobia in the warrants, does he actually? All right, all right, I can do one more, one more run. I think he's fine, man. I think he's just complaining. It's okay. He can be at high stress. It doesn't seem to be that big of a deal if he's at high stress. Okay. Um, we don't really want to give him any additional stress. That's probably not ideal. We'll go ahead and give him some items. Plus 15% bleed skill chance. Do I even use? A break would be welcome, but I'm fourth. Does he not want to go? I don't know why he doesn't want to go. I mean, I guess we probably just ran a dungeon with him. Although, I don't really remember exactly what, what the last one we did was. Oh, it's just because his stress is a little high? Oh, he's just being a pussy. That's okay, dude. That's alright. So, she also does get additional stress in the cove. Well, I'm sure you guys will be alright. What's going on, a wanted ghost? Thank you very much for your tier 1 sub. Welcome to the family. Uh, right, I was gonna check if I'm even using bleed skills with her. I don't think I am. No. I'm not using any bleed skills on her, so we'll just sell this pendant as well. Get rid of it. Why do you guys all want time off, dude? You barely have any stress. Um, she also would probably not like additional stress, so we'll just give you that item. Um, okay. You can get additional healing skills. And then, sure, you can get that one too. And then you are basically just the hoarder of this party. So really the only thing we need you to do is just cast her little spells and open little little things for us. I think this will be okay. We don't really need to give her uh, that many items. Boss Loco is harsh. Of course. So I've only done, I think, one veteran level dungeon so far. Um, which means that I'm not all too experienced with the differences. This might actually be very tricky, and maybe bringing the Antiquarian along is actually a dumb move. I'm just, you know, telling you guys in advance. <laughs> uh, okay, so the wiki on a short run in the uh, warrants advises 8 to 12 food. We'll just bring 12. 1 to 2 shovels. It's a pretty short dungeon, right? Should be okay. We'll bring 1 Anti-Venom. One to three bandages. Let's bring three just to be careful. A couple of medicinal herbs. Skeletal keys. We want to have those because of the antiquarian. Holy water. And then eight to ten torches. Okay, so this might be a little bit much for a dungeon like this, but I think it's okay. I mean, we're bringing basically the most that we can ever need. Like, if I fill this one, it's probably because of RNG or because I'm just being too greedy here with the antiquarian. Here we go. Loco, instead of saying you can't go out because of the virus, which sounds weak, whiny, and boring, try instead saying you swore an oath of solitude until the pestilence is purged from the lands. Ooh, I like that. I swore an oath of solitude until the pestilence is purged from the lands. You sound like they Prince Arthas. Quickly down there in the dark. 
but perhaps we can slay them even faster. You sound like Prince Arthur's right before the culling. Which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but... Oh, great! Already great start here, guys! It's okay, it's okay. We'll get them back, you know, into the right spot. That's okay, you can hit him. Fledgeland likes being attacked. There we go. You guys need a wife that brings you breakfast at your desk without asking? Oh, are you bragging? Are you bragging? I think you're bragging, Panda Ninja. She just brought you breakfast? Ay, ay, ay. The vomit attack thingy is pretty annoying, but so far, they've nicely dodged it. Yeah, this was not a good start, by the way. This first uh, attack, definitely a little bit unfortunate. The bleed is not good, but as long as we break it, it's all fine. There it is. Good attack. I will feast on your heart. That's what we need. Lots of feasting on lots of hearts. Breakfast right now sounds weird to me because it's 2 p.m. in Italy. So, Lordek, here's the thing. There are places in the world that are in different time zones. Did you know that? It's crazy, man. So basically, the Earth is a globe. In Radiance, may we find victory. And because of that, since it turns, different places are in the sun at different moments. The Earth is a globe? Yes. Loco, what do you mean? Don't worry about it, guys. I'm just a scientist. Oh, what's this? Oh, he's surprised. He has very high prot. Hero to hit, 69%. Could work with that. Can you stab that guy? No. I don't know what this guy does. What is his stun to resist? 70%, that's a lot. Oh, she also actually debuffs herself with breakthrough. I didn't realize that. Well, still the good uh, the correct call uh the correct call though. What's his bleed resist? 40%, okay. Ugh, yeah. That's unfortunate. I've not played anyone called the Collector now. Good dodge, guys. I don't know how you dodge a howl, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm not asking that many questions either. Just keep on actually just buffing up the team. It's probably easier. There it is. Skaltos. It's a good name for a Protoss player. He's just not... Oh, yeah. He's just not easily bleeding. Okay, well she is bleeding now. Ah, that's unfortunate. Just stab him. He's almost dead. There it is. Alone does not the blade. That is something important to keep in mind, guys. Prodigi uh, prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Just so you guys know. She's bleeding a little bit, but it's just a tiny little bit. She'll be okay. Whoa, what's this? Is that Davy Jones? No, I don't think it's Davy Jones. Ay, ay, ay. It's ugly, though. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. It's Cthulhu? Oh, no. Um. Can you make it bleed? It's got 80% bleed resist. It's pretty much 100 for this game. That's how it works. Hey, 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 guys, come on. Ooh, she's marked right now as well. Hope we can start healing. That would be nice. 
Okay, he did bleed this time around, so that helps. You need to start healing her. No! Ooh, a zero heal. All right, all right, all right. Not ideal, but at least we cured that one. Okay, just keep dodging. 14 dodge is a lot of dodge. Well, that zero heal was really bad. Uh, you need to hit this, buddy. Oh my god. Three? Okay, she's no longer at death's door at the very least. This guy is bleeding like a mother lover. Okay, now she's back on death's door. And he still has to go. He, she might actually be dead. She might be dead. Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky. I think if... Well, I mean, there was still a chance, obviously, to miss, but... I don't know, man. Maybe she's dead. I don't know. There's no place for the weak or foolhardy. The blight apparently ticks at the beginning of the round. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered. F's in the chat, please. From you. She got wrecked. Saddest moment of my life right there. It didn't help, buddy, that you missed your heal like seven times. Like, now you do it. Now you do it just fine. ay 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 Luckily, we can just ask another one, yeah. Just call up the orbital command. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh, this is a leper item. I don't have a leper. Uh, what do I get rid of? Food? There it is. Okay, guys. So, not a, not a great start today, huh? If only Ooh. treasure could staunch the flow. Auto world corruption. corruption. This is this is pretty sick though. Lots of portraits. I mean it will never bring back mule, obviously, but uh, deeds. I wanna have the deeds too. Yeah. The money run sadly has not uh, worked out very well. Oh my god, really? 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 Yikes. Their fade. Their confidence is shaken. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. Ghost engaged in the pleasures of the flesh and recovered, uh, recovered 65 stress. Marine had a night in the town and recovered 56. Viper has found meditation to be a perfect fit. A new quirk. Viper has now become meditator. Okay. Stimpak level 4. Hellion level 4. Mule. Met their final fate during the quest. What are the odds of having only one room battle in a shard dungeon? That seems exceptionally, exceptionally uncommon. I've never seen that before, I don't think. That was just a single room, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, good thing I brought all those shuffles and stuff. Loco, I can't decide who's more useless, Flagellant or the Shieldbreaker. It's funny, man. Like, whenever you ask anyone in this game what their favorite character is, everyone always mentions someone else. They've actually done an amazing job with the character design in general in this game. Guys? The mule has been reincarnated. <laughs> amazing. She searches where others will not go. 
and sees what others will not see. Now, this is a new mule, believe it or not. We dropped the new mule. We have to call it something StarCraft related, I suppose. What are we gonna call it? Now, I think if we're gonna replace people, like, initially, right, the first... How do we call this? Like, the first generation of characters were all named after Terran units and Terran upgrades. We have to come up with a theme for the second generation as well. Mule 2.0, not a bad idea. Yeah, mules come with a time period, so it's only natural. Exactly. And now she's already back again, so who's surprised? Mule Jr.? <laughs> I do like Mule Jr., yeah. Or just Mule 2.0 sounds a little bit more mechanical. I'm actually a fan. Mule 2.0. It's a lot of dots, but they are indeed replaceable, and usually when your first one expires, you have energy again to get a second one going, right? So it worked out perfectly here in the end. An apprentice antiquarian. Uh, don't really want any of these others. Mule Mark II. For what it's worth, we did just earn like 10 grand. So, you know, that's good, right? Let's do a couple more dungeons similar to this one. We can definitely do some of the lower level dungeons right now as well, though, because I have a bunch of people that I need to bring up towards level 2, so we can do some more of the easy dungeon bosses. Um, I still need to do this one, which is a, a, a boss is called Sudden Crew. There's also the Brigand 8 Pounder. Both of those require um, heroes to be, low to be below level 3. So one of the reasons... Actually, I could go and do them right now. I was going to say, like, I needed one a healer that I could level up to level 2. Because all my healers were level 3 and higher. Um, that's why I ended up getting Viper last time. I wouldn't mind trying to get one of these bosses down. So there's actually three bosses. That all require level 2 heroes. There is the Swine Prince, the Brigand 8 Pounder, and the Sodden Crew. Which one do we go with, guys? So this one brings an abomination item. This one gives us a very rare ring that's just good for everyone. And this one gives us a flagellant item. <laughs> Plus 20% damage if stress is above 85. I don't know if I like that item, but I kind of like it. I think we're going to go for the for the Brigand 8-pounder, man. That ring is, is very good. Local can you explain the objective of this game? Um, sure. So, ideally, we're trying to figure out what happened in the Darkest Dungeon. Now, the Darkest Dungeon is a level 6 dungeon. Which means that you should be bringing level 6 heroes, which is the highest level 4 heroes. And you can see the little number that indicates what level they are currently. Um, we've been happily grinding through it. I would imagine, though, that completing the Darkest Dungeon is gonna, like, it's gonna cost us many, many troops. So, we're gonna have to try and, um, yeah, go all the way up to level 6 on as many of these dudes as I can. And kill a lot of bosses in the process. Um, I would like to go ahead and do the Brigand 8-pounder. As long as the thieves and ruffians man a cannon on the old roads, the hamlet will be cut from trait. Demolish this ironwork devil. Now, I have done most of these bosses, like most of the early game bosses, that is, at some point. I don't really know exactly which one this was anymore. It's the one with the cannon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a siege tank almost. Now, I don't remember what kind of unit composition or, like, character composition I should be going for. I don't know if it's considered cheating if I have Twitch chat giving me some pointers in that regard, but... Yeah. If you guys have any advice on uh, what I should bring... Like, not spoiling the actual boss, but... If you have any advice on what kind of characters I should bring, I am interested. I'm not interested in what the boss does. I just want to know, like, kind of like the unit composition. That I should be aiming to bring. I have a whole bunch of level 2, so I've got some to choose from. Thank you. 
don't take bleed and poison. You need to be able to nuke one really hard. Bring three jesters. <laughs> so I played this game way back in the day. Not recently though. Okay, so someone who can nuke really hard. So, Arbalist. She can nuke like a mother, uh, li li like a mother lover. Go ahead, Arbalist. Or not Arbalist, sorry. Musketeer. Basically an Arbalist. Um, Warhound, maybe? I brought Warhound on another one of these boss fights, and he was very, very good. He can snipe. Like, both of these can snipe. Crit comps are good for this, Loco. Okay. This one has bleed, though. I don't know if bleed is a good idea. She can snipe like crazy. Like, she's gonna be a no-brainer here. Most of my comps are just like... Actually, he's strong too. Maybe I should bring the Man-at-Arms. Man-at-Arms is very nice with his crush ability. Like, he can hit a lot of targets. I'm assuming a Hellion would have been better, but she's too high level. I could also bring Thor. Raven, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, Riposte is really, really strong. Like, his abilities are insanely good. I was thinking about bringing Marauder as well, actually. Marauder has a stun, but he can't hit the back line. I don't know if I need to be able to hit the back line. So, she can hit back line, he can hit back line. He's gonna be mostly healing, but he can also hit the back line. He does have a powerful stun. Yeah, the Leper is unreliable. Like, I don't really like the Leper very much, because he doesn't hit that often. Like, he hits hard when he does hit, but it's kind of, a uh, Kind of tricky. I can hit the back line with the man at arms. I can hit the first three spots, so not the final spot. But I can hit really hard with her. So I think that's probably gonna be my main carry. Okay, what do you guys think of this composition? Seems pretty good, right? I think this is gonna be okay. I could bring the Houndmaster in position 2. But the Houndmaster is mostly damage over time at this point. Although the marking of her does help out a lot. Can he mark himself too? Oh yeah, he can mark the target. So maybe actually these would play off of each other a little bit better. Warhound together with Ghost. Because they can both like do insane damage to mark targets. She deals 60% additional damage versus mark plus 10% crit. And this guy also does a big debuff, so that makes her crit even harder. These probably help each other out a bit more. Yep, I think this is gonna be the comp. I think this is gonna be our comp. I like it. Um, Rampart? No. Bellow. Crit re received chance 5% while marked. Mm. 15% damage while guarded. Honestly, don't think I need this. What skills do you have unlocked right now? I honestly don't even use any of this one, though. Like, that one, I... Yeah, I don't use it. Buff target, 5% accuracy, 4% crit, 15% damage while guarded. We might want to get that instead. That sounds very nice. If we guard them, and then we, like, buff them up... That seems like a very good setup. There we go. I think this is the comp. Okay, very nice. What about you, buddy? Uh, so he's got the guard dog. Buff self, 10 dodge. Nah. Hound's Harry, yes. Or no, this is Hound's... Ru Hound's ru whatever, you get what I'm trying to say. Marking target. And then I've got the self heal. Okay. Viper, he's mostly here for his heal and for this one. Uh, this one has a stun and a demon's pool. I don't really care too much about the demon's pool. This one also marks target, actually. So we have like a bunch of people here that can mark targets. So if, if the occultist would go first, that would be very helpful as well. Um... Okay, this was expensive though, upgrading all of these, but I think it's okay. Are you guys all upgraded? Nope. 
Ay, 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 there goes my gold. Remember like 10 minutes ago, Loco said, let's reach 100,000 gold. Me neither, man. I don't remember that either. Okay, we're gonna bring our best trinkets too, so I hope we don't die. Because <laughs> if we die and we lose all the trinkets, that would really suck. That would be an uninstall right there, boys. Nah, not uninstall, but... Gotta be a little bit triggered. Oh, plus 20% damage? Mate. She's gonna hit like a truck. Hmm... Sure. Warhound, what kind of skills do I want on you? Do, 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 do. I don't have any items for you, dude. Nah, I think that's not too big of a deal. I don't have any scouting items. No, I sold those. Maybe I should have... <laughs> Maybe I should have kept one or two. Ah, whatever, guys. We're gonna go ahead and kill the Brigand 8 Pounder. So, this is a Welt dungeon, medium duration. Welt. Where's the Welt? The Welt. Um, it says 16 to 20 food. So we'll bring 20. Four to five shovels? Jeez, that's a lot of freaking shovels. Do I bring just everything? Five shovels is way too much. Screw that. Anti-venom, three to four. Bandage, three. Medicinal herbs, two. Skeletal key, two to three. Holy water. Twelve torches. All right. Well... Are you ready? Do you think we can do it? Actually. Eh. I wish I actually can go back to that. Can I go back without like... No. That's unfortunate. I didn't actually check if I needed to put anyone in like treatment. I don't think I need to put anyone in treatment. She will only visit the brothel for stress New relief now? Oh my god. Detected. I remember that. Good luck, you will need it. No, no, no. We're gonna smash it, man. Vets Hunter, we will absolutely smash it. <laughs> I don't know why you're even concerned, mate. But thank you for the resub. Good luck, you will need it, he says. Can't believe it, man. I'm amazing at this game, clearly. <laughs> hey, thank you, man. Welcome back. Okay. That seems a lot of useless stuff. And two little torches. Um, the thing about the blood or about the, the wealth though is that you also need shovels for a lot of the curios. So that's why I'm bringing four shovels. I think we can probably go three anti-venom. I can camp as well, right? Like camping gives you full torch. So I think this is fine. I would take extra key loco. Okay. Simple folk are by Here we go. nature loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Ooh, yeah, we can camp before the boss as well and get like buffs on the musketeer. Now, bosses are always the furthest away room, right? Well, fuck. Uh, heck, I mean, sorry. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh. 
This is probably the worst dungeon layout for uh, a run right now. I almost feel like backing off and just like restarting it. It's just gonna like give me additional stress. I hope I can go to this room and then get a scout, but I don't know, man. Probably not. Unlikely. Streamer luck! That's what we call streamer luck. Herself a victim to the spreading corruption. Oh, that was a grave. Uh, I, I know backing up is bad. What does the grave do again? Shallow grave? You get gems and heirlooms. Okay, sure. I think far left. That's what I would pick as well, yeah. That's what I'm thinking here. We got a little bit of a practice run here. That's okay. We're mostly just here for the boss fight, but... Got him down! Okay. Not a good hit, Musketeer. I was hyping you up and how much damage you could do and all that. Luckily, that's the worst layout I have ever seen. Streamer luck, dude, I've been telling you. One of my mules timed out. It's, it's how it works, dude. They only live for like 45 seconds. This one was long overdue. Get him, Harry. Harry deals a lot of damage. Easy, guys. Easy game. Easy game. Bomb. Look at this. Are you seeing this? It's not even fair. And driven into the mud. What's this? A blue one. Okay. Eh, we'll take the blue one. Screw your yellow one. This is not a money run anyway. I am gonna take the gamble that it's the bottom left. Thing is though, if we don't have any scouting before we get there, right? Um, we don't actually know where the boss fight is gonna be. I would like to camp before, but... What does the spider web do again? Spider web, spider web. We get golden trinkets. Okay, fine. What's up, Philip? Finding the stuff is only the yeah. first step. Now it must be carried home. Yeah, that's the whole problem. Carrying stuff home in this game. Oh, oh, here's a scout. Here's a scout. Good scout. Good scout. Hey, hey, streamer luck. Great. So. We camp in the next room and then we buff up the musketeer. Like crazy. Like, she's gonna deal damage, guys. You've never seen the likes of it. Uh, I need one more shove. No. I thought I need another shovel here. Grave digging, man. Apparently it pays off. That's what I'm taught in this game. Um, I don't need another shovel, necessarily. I don't really need this many torches, either. Just get rid of it. Okay, so let's camp. Let's huddle together in the darkness. Close, in firelight, an uneasy oh, I should have just picked eight, actually. I thought it would still reduce stress. Um, Reduce torchlight by 100. Remove morality debuffs. Nah, we're good, dude. Can you give some good buffs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bum. Very good. Very good. New subscriber detected. Very good. Now, sadly, we don't have a way of, like, preventing nighttime ambush. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Hey, Kyrus, welcome back, man. Thank you for the 29 months. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, let's hope we don't get nighttime ambush, I guess. And now, the darkness holds dominion. 
It's okay. Black as death. Feed the dog? I don't know how the dog works. Do I have to do that right now? Or do I have to do that in battle? Like, I don't know how the dog feeding thingamajig works. It has to be in battle? But does this work as well still in the dog in the boss fight though? Oh, 50% damage, 15 accuracy for three rounds. I think it only uh, like I shouldn't I shouldn't be using this right now though. I should be waiting until the actual boss fight. I don't think it's gonna be active anymore. Oh, big crit. Ay ay ay. Get him, Harry. Be gone, fiend. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll save that for the actual boss fight. I just have to not forget about it. I'm really good at forgetting about it. Oh, we can do two different ones. Uh, eat up, Harry. Alright, so there's a fight over here. Oh, Ooh, it's actually a kind of a scary fight. Luckily, they are surprised. These guys can stress you out like crazy. Okay, just gun him down. Okay. Harry! That works too, man. That works too. Thanks. They can give you, like, diseases and stuff. Not the end of the world, but kind of annoying. It helps, though, when we can kill them all in one round. Come on, man at arms. Don't... Don't... This guy, man. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, okay, chat. First boss fight of the day. It's coming up. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. We buff you up, dude. Blight resist. Okay. You take some holy water as well, buddy. Alrighty. I think that's gonna be it. Thank you for the GLHF's chat. Let's go. A marvel of technology. An engine of destruction. So she has an item that gives her additional crit chance in the first round, which seems really good. Um... I know there is a guy with a fuse. This guy has a fuse and I'm pretty sure it becomes a problem if the big ass thing shoots. So my thought process here is to gun down the matchman. Loco, he's harmless? Sure. Sure he is. I think I'm gonna gun down that guy. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. He's dead. Um, I need you to mark that thing so we can deal a lot of damage to it. It's a cannon rush, Loco. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. 80% damage versus marked. That seems really strong. I've got a feeling it's not going to bleed, though. <laughs> I've got a feeling it won't be bleeding. It's not bleeding out, digging deeper just to throw it away. I don't know if the cannon rush is gonna be... No, it does call in reinforcements. Okay. Yeah, so there's not a guy with a fuse. Just deal some damage to it. It's okay. Good. Um... I don't know if this guy can do it in one attack. It's not, yeah, they send in a second probe. The cannon rush, man. I don't know if this guy is just gonna like light it on fire and it's immediately gonna shoot. I'm a little bit worried for that. We'll just have to take him out, I think, with, uh, with Harry. Harry! Eat up, buddy. Good. 
Retribution. There it is. Okay. Now here we go. That is it, really? I buffed you up like a madman and this is what you get? Step the fuck out of it, dude. There it is. That's what he was gonna say. Get him, Harry. Hit him. Hit him! Oh. Your side sword, then? Or side sword? <laughs> Your, uh, well, you get what I'm trying to say, buddy. Pew! He was speaking Dutch? No, I don't think he was speaking Dutch. Dutch is prettier than that. Harry! There it is! I don't really care about that guy. Okay, I care a little bit. Repost. Nine health. Oh no, 14 health, sorry. Dude! That guy has a dog, why would you do that, man? Oof. They send in the whole crew. Okay, guys. This is just like World of Warcraft. It's very easy to just nuke the boss. But usually you're better off killing the adds in a raid, okay? It's one of the big noob mistakes in World of Warcraft to, like, not kill the adds anymore when the boss is very low. It's one of the most, most obvious ways of failing. Keep nuking the adds! Never mind, never mind. I don't care about the adds. The brigands are undone. Our family crest is once again a symbol of strength. Yo, guys. We absolutely murdered it. It wasn't even close. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I did actually need that reminder, yeah. I did actually need that. Yeah, okay. Thanks, game. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Take heat. Take heat, loco. Yo, guys. Here I was, overthinking and everything. Easy. Easy game. Yeah, we have wrecked the guy that tried to cheese us. The Black Plague? Oh no, that's not good. It's a good reminder after a smooth boss, though. Know the tragic extent of my failings. Like, we did, we did well. I think we did well there. Alright, so Ghost is now a veteran musketeer and Siege Tank is now a veteran man-at-arms. Excellent. We spiked the Foul Brigand 8-pounder. Okay, well, you guys go ahead. You've deserved it. Get in your treatments for the Black Plague. For your vertigo. Amazing. Well done, team. Anyone with high stress levels? Not really. Not really. Honestly, that was really smooth. I don't want to brag, but that was pretty good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, thought I already had one of those. I must have sold it. I do kind of want to brag a little bit, yeah. If they are a veteran, shouldn't they be retired? No, no, no. They keep going, dude. Hmm? She searches where others will not go, and sees what others will not see. We have a backup. We expanded quickly, now we get two mules at once. We fast expert. Fire mule 2.0? No, 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 no. They're both level ones, they're both level ones. It's all good. I've got a second orbital command now. Actually, that's very good though, like we can use that. Ideally, we get this one up, like this thing right over here, but we need Instructor Mastery, level 3, Weapon Smithing, level 3, and Armor Smithing, level 3. That's not gonna be cheap. We need these things. Although, I do have a lot of crests again, though, so I could, sh I could switch some of them. 24 of those. Next one is Planetary Fortress. Guys, only noobs go Planetary Fortress for their third base, okay? Come on, guys. 
Everyone knows Planetary Fortress goes on the fourth and after that, but sometimes not even the fourth. Planetary Fortress on the third. Okay, the actual hallmark of a noob in StarCraft 2 is usually making a, a Planetary Fortress in the main or the natural, okay? Now, we've all done that. We've all been there. But I'm just telling you, if you make a natural Planetary Fortress... Shame. 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 That, that's all, you know. No disrespect, but a little bit of shame. The Sultan Crew, the Swine Prince. Feeling pretty good about this, though. You know what? I think we're gonna bring Mule 2.0 on a little adventure. She can go together with Viking, with SCV, and then... Thor? Thor is here! Yeah, he doesn't need to be level 3 yet. We don't want him to be level 3. So we're trying to make sure that we have, like... Not too many level 3s here. Ruins. Short dungeon. Seems good. Another mule? Yeah, yeah, I got another one. Da, 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 da. What does it, by the way, cost to upgrade these structures? What a resource. Oh, it's the little heads. Okay. I don't see a lot of busts. Who died in this game? No one. This has been a flawless run so far. We have lost no people at all. None. Zero. Nada. <laughs> I should exchange the crests when I've got more than a hundred of them. Yeah, that's probably a good number actually to, uh, to keep. The mule expired, no one was lost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the people, like the one person that died before that as well didn't actually die. They just... Reincarnated. Um... <laughs> I think that's how it works. Knockback 3. Clear all buff or all corpses. Uh, I don't know if I want that. Honestly, we just like sort of hit hard with him, right? There we go. Sure. You don't really need those skills yet. It's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, yeah. That's... Dude, I didn't realize they would get all abilities as well. Oh, sick, dude. They get all four or all of the seven abilities and I can choose which ones I want. If you hire them from the store and they're already level one, they have everything upgraded. That's really nice. Huh, that is really nice. I like that. Weapons and armor too. Yeah, I knew about that, but I wasn't sure if they would get all abilities. That's... I didn't even consider it, to be honest. That's really strong. Aha. Uh -huh. Mule 2.0, man. Better than Mule 1.0. Honestly, like, having a high-level mule is nice, but it's... Uh, yeah. It's not actually gonna help you out very much other than, like, making runs for money, right? Which is nice, but it's not gonna like, you're not gonna send an antiquarian to the darkest dungeon, right? Maybe you can, but if you want to make the sick gold over there, I don't think you go there for the gold. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, okay, so this is the ruins. Ruins. The ruins. Short dungeon. We can bring... I'm not bringing a healer, by the way. Is that a problem? Let's bring 12, just in case. Let's bring two shovels. One anti-venom. One bandage. One medicinal herb. Oh, I already have one. That's all good. Three skeleton keys, because I want to get maximum money. That's the goal. A holy water or so. And some torches. 
Okay. Let's go. Abomination and Leopard do have self heals. Nah, we don't really need anti venom, but you might need them for like curious. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Look at all the curios on the way. I like it. Oh, yeah. So the Antiquarian, for those of you wondering, she's probably the weakest overall character, but whenever you loot something with her, so you loot any of the curios, she can get these kinds of items that are worth a lot of money. So she brings more money into the game. Which is really nice. Uh, okay. 100%. I like that. They have stress relief. Yep. Money for the bank. Pick to the face. 20% damage versus blight. Yeah, just shoot darts at that thing. That thing is annoying. So he transforms, obviously. And deals a bunch of damage. I didn't put any items on them, did I? No, I don't think I put any items on any of them. Did I put items on them? I don't think so. I always forget about it for some reason. This guy's super annoying, yeah. He's got all kinds of stress abilities, which is just frustrating. Which is why we're trying to stab him as fast as we can. Is this a suicide run? No, no, I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Um, so she does have spells that like make her jump forward Yeah, this one makes her lunge forward. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want her to be lunging anywhere Because it would mess up my team quite a bit um, So he can change himself back as well That's just a good single target damage that can hit three targets or three four Okay Oh no, an Eldritch push! Luckily he did prevent it from happening. Okay, fine, you can lunge. Just make sure, to okay, you're gonna kill her, that's what I was gonna say. Oh, you can still actually hit from there as well. You go ahead and Switch back and then use Absolution to stress heal. And heal yourself back up. Sick crit, dude. Rain in the forest. Why did he just say rain in the forest? A little bit odd, not gonna lie, but... 